my Lenovo X220. I recently replaced both the uh, keyboard and motherboard. I will link to those videos somewhere up here. So there are two more upgrades that uh, were planned for this thing. Uh, one was a battery replacement which I already have installed. The next would be an upgrade to an uh, from a mechanical drive to an SSD. So I got myself a uh, SanDisk uh, SSD online. Um, supposedly it's uh, 240 240 gigabytes So I have it right now in my uh, drive enclosure. I will clone the entire drive of uh, The laptop onto an SSD currently it's using a mechanical mechanical drive uh, The SSD is uh, actually a little bit smaller than the current drive installed here so in order for me to be able to uh, clone the system I'll be using a tool called uh, uh, Partition Wizard uh, for those of you who are interested in using Partition Wizard it's, I believe it's still available for download uh, for free for personal use but I'm using an older version, uh, version 10.2 and I already have it installed here on my laptop on the Windows partition so hopefully all the um, all the data that is in, uh, currently in the drive here on the laptop will be transferred here to the SSD now the uh, partition wizard uh, tool automatically resizes the partitions to fit um, a smaller SSD so we will now be booting on to uh, Windows for the uh, partition wizard um, I installed it first on my um, Windows partition next up we'll, we'll connect the drive using this cable so let's fire up the partition wizard let's click on mini tool partition wizard free um, I'm using version 10.2 like I said a while ago so here is the current drive on the system this is my SSD as you can see it's unallocated this um, tool right here migrate OS to SSD or slash HD that's the uh, easiest way to do it so we'll choose option A uh, replace the disk with another disk so we'll click next so we will have the destination disk as disk 2 as you can see the current system drive that's on it on this uh, laptop is 300 around 300 gigabytes um, however my SSD as it appears here is just 223 gigabytes so we'll select disk 2 as the destination drive click next so um, we'll choose fit partitions to entire to, enti to entire disk and we will choose align partitions to one megabyte um, those are the op those are the default options so um, either way it will resize all the partitions to f fit on the drive see I have a Linux partition here this is the Windows 
partition and I have a, a data partition here with a little bit of data in it so we will clone the entire drive to a smaller drive which should work fine with um, with this tool so let's click next then finish and then we'll hit apply click yes so it will now uh, partition the destination drive and make it um, make it fit so we will restart and mini tool will aut automatically uh, boot during the restart and then it will finish the process um, uh, at boot time without loading windows so let's click restart now so here we go let's use windows do have a timer right there so we'll find out how long it will take so just to show you the connection I have so this is the laptop so the SSD right there is connected via USB but with this after the uh, migration is done I'll remove the current disk that's in here and replace it with the SSD over there. So that's finally done. Um, I forgot how many minutes that was. But it was longer than I expected. Longer than two hours at least. So it's now time to uh, uh, turn this thing off, swap the drives, and hope that it works. automatically booted into Windows I don't have my OS selection in the beginning which is a bummer Let's restart and hopefully I will still be able to boot into my Linux partition. We'll see. Nope. Can't boot into Linux anymore. just automatically booting up to Windows all right um, I might need 
to do something. I actually don't know what it is I need to do yet to be able to access my Linux partition again and be able to boot there. I'll be able to boot the Linux Mint uh, OS but um, well the cloning did its job I mean the migration did its job just not the way I expected it so uh, I guess we'll I'll try to do something and I don't know maybe I'll be able to solve it but I'll probably do that off cam. I was able to boot into my uh, Linux partition, but uh, I had to resort to downloading Grub to Win. And uh, well, the menu at the startup is not as elegant as I wanted, but uh, it works. So. Uh, at least my data still intact but uh, if I show you how this thing boots uh, alright so there's the splash screen so the default is like this so there's Windows 10 and if I want to boot to Linux I have to go to grub2 for Windows which is like that so I had to manually add Linux Mint so technically the boot manager is now Windows but I can still boot to Linux Mint no problem There you have it. Just to show you, I can still log into my Linux um, partition. There's my Shadow Man wallpaper. So if I reboot and um, I'll show you, I can still boot into windows okay there so we're starting okay so this is the problem sometimes linux takes a long time to reboot um sometimes it's quick so i don't know maybe it's just how it's set up i i'm i might consider if I'm so inclined to just do a fresh install of everything uh, I don't know maybe something I could do in my spare time but for now I guess this thing works so old hard drive is still available if I want to uh, put it back I mean so here it is I can still put it back in if I want to so this is the problem sometimes it takes quite a while and I don't know I think it's been two minutes since I initiated a reboot and it's there we go finally I just might reinstall, I don't know, I think I'll try to reinstall uh, Linux Mint, see if that works, but yeah for now that's the solution I have for you guys, if you're having problems with um, booting to Linux after cloning the entire hard drive to an SSD using uh, partition wizard so there you have it 
Thanks for watching. Enjoy.